Hey. It's the perfect question, and you're absolutely on right on target. The reason I always call it Mars Resort and Spa is to attract the women. But a lot of women are engineers or getting into engineering, and they're fascinated with the technology. A lot of men are fascinated with cooking, the whole thing. So you have to create experiences where people of both genders and different age groups can have a good time. Uh, for example, you go on a cruise ship, first thing I would do is go up to the bridge and check out the bridge. My wife would go to the spa, and we'd come back together, and we'd both have a great time. You know? So it's, it's reaching out into understanding what aspirations are, but we're crea creating opportunities where markets translate each other. My wife would actually like to see the bridge. I actually met her through NASA because she was writing a movie on NASA. So, uh, but we have to be sensitive not only to gender, but to age and the culture. Whenever we do one of our projects overseas, I'm the conceptual designer guy, but we always have local architects and engineers because they understand the culture. Very, very important. Because it's all about the experience. Uh, Alex. A couple of questions there. Um, well, it, the space experience market is surprisingly large. If you really look at the variety of space experiences, I said about 17 million people a year physically get up in the United States and go to specific space experiences. This doesn't count the hundreds of millions of people that go to science centers, planetariums, you know, those kind of things, of which space is usually a part of that. Now, when you think of IMAX movies, when you think of TV shows, when you think of reruns of Star Trek, there are millions and millions of people who are watching and having space experiences every year. There are two major movies in production right now by studios on space colonies, actually. I'm an advisor on both. In terms of numbers, I actually don't know. I used, we used to know some of the numbers of how much money is spent on space merchandise, on ticket sales, on all those kind of things. I'm not quite sure what it is right now. It is certainly a niche market. But it's a market that we call an evergreen market, meaning there's a certain number of people okay, who are really into this. Uh, but it's, it's, we need to do a little bit more market research. Around the world, uh, space interest is growing dramatically as different nations begin their space programs and stuff. Uh, this question, this, we're going to have a few more minutes. Uh, please do that. It turns out that the vacation tourist travel industry is one of the largest industries in the whole planet. And a lot of it's important for tourism for people to meet each other from different cultures and everything. What's nice about space is it's not just America, it is our species destiny in space. And people from around the world, regardless of their race, religions, countries, are fascinated. Some people are. How do you keep it fresh and not cheesy? Well, the core of the experience is storytelling. And the stories we can tell with space are dramatic, exciting, unique, novel, different. When you look at space sports, when you look at sex in space, when you look at discoveries, when you look at pirates, when you look at space guard service, you can create all these stories and scenarios that have great drama, but the core of it is storytelling and uh, interactive experiencing. Uh, as if we keep it cheesy, we make it very qu good quality. Date it, All right? <laughs> Please. Well, you, you could, 
but I'm using the yachting experience as a model to create opportunities for more people to go because of the investment in the financing. And inevitably, even the hardcore astronaut test pilot scientists that go take as much time as they can away from their duties and tasks to look at the ocean, to look at the moon, to look at space, because it's the most fantastic experience of their lives. But we do have to be careful to balance out uh, our Earth perspectives with the br emerging new space perspective, which is a much broader open perspective and stuff. Okay, time's up. I'm going to be here. Anyone wants to talk, let's talk. But it's your space program, your space stuff. Get involved.